So what the heck is so new about this switch? It's white. What is up guys, my name is Chase, and early in the morning on July 6th, 2021, Nintendo randomly announced a brand new Switch model. So just like a lot of the rumors were predicting, the Switch now has a larger 7-inch OLED screen, which is going to offer more vivid colors and crisper contrast. Now with these improvements, it only makes sense that they also improve the resolution, right? Oh, well, that's okay, because the Switch OLED model also has a brand new kickstand, as well as better speakers that will make handheld play that much better. I'm sure that since they're focusing on handheld play so much, the battery life must be improved, right? Um, well, the dock now has a built-in LAN port, so that must mean they're making an improved dock that will offer better performance when you're playing the Switch on the TV, right? Well, the Joy-Con are new. Surely these are improved revisions of the Joy-Con that fix a lot of the issues like- No, in all seriousness, the Nintendo Switch OLED model looks really really slick. Honestly, the white color scheme alone I think is worth it for anyone who doesn't already have a Switch. But along with that, the screen is no longer trapped behind these thick, with three C's, bezels. The kickstand seems like it'll actually be substantial. And the dock comes with a LAN port built in so that you don't need to buy any extra adapters. I mean for an extra $50, I think you are getting some nice little upgrades over the normal Switch model. But the thing I keep coming back to is, who exactly is this Switch model for? At this point, I think anybody who desperately wanted a Switch already has a Switch. And the people who don't have a Switch yet, I feel like are, for lack of a better word, more casual players who aren't going to care about an OLED screen or a LAN port. They're just gonna see the $50 price difference and go for the cheaper one. Meanwhile, the people who do care about an OLED screen are probably the more diehard fans who want better internal hardware, which the Switch OLED does not have. I guess the only way I see this working out is if the Switch OLED is meant to replace the original Switch. I just feel that the OG Switch and the Switch OLED are too similar that consumers aren't even going to know what the difference between them are. And in the long run, if the elusive Switch Pro does end up becoming a reality, you'll have the most budget-friendly Switch Lite, the middle-of-the-road Switch OLED, and the high-end Switch Pro. I think it would make for a nice lineup of Switch models. But I'm sure a giant worldwide company doesn't even care what this random boy in the middle of nowhere has to say. They don't even reply to my letters. And my final thought is that, I mean, if you want the Switch OLED, feel free to go for it. If you compare the screen on the original Switch and the one on the Switch OLED, oof. It's a pretty big difference, and I think it's really cool. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Switch OLED, and if you're planning on getting one. If you want to see more of my Nintendo videos, make sure you check out some of the videos below. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and ring that notification bell. For now, my name is Chase, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.